for me, every time that the Creator is allowing me to stand in front of public of holy souls, I feel obligated to pull out water from the deepest place of my own inner will and to try to water the herds to the furthest distance that I'm able to, to try to find more and more ways to open and carved ways for new streams that will water and purify those thirsty souls that on them the verse is saying any thirsty person should go search for water and there is no other water than the water of the Torah. And the Torah is light, the Torah or. And the light is the light of the soul. Because the soul of a person is like a candle, Ner Hashem Nishmat Adam, the candle of the Creator is the soul of the person. And it shines in great light the godly light, light that was shining from the face of Moshe after Moshe received the face of Hashem, seeing him and talking to him like that it's written, pe el pe adaber bo, mouth to mouth, face to face, I will speak to him, the Creator said about Moshe. And after Moshe was able to nullify himself to the Creator, his face was shining in such great light that people were not able to look at him from that great glow that was shining from him. But he himself was not aware of that. So you should know that when you work on yourself, in a personal way and you are giving power to the power of your soul to overpower the power of your bodies then your soul is shining further than you can imagine and when people are looking at you they're afraid to look at you. They're afraid because that the light that they see is the light of your soul. And the light of your soul is the light of God himself. Because your soul is a portion of godliness, portion of God. So when they see you, they see Hashem. So when the person is committing himself to the truth and surrendering himself to the commandments and to the will of Hashem, and he is surrendering himself to whatever Hashem says to him that is the truth, and he is nullifying himself to the truth, because many times we want to do what Hashem says, but... One book is saying, go to the right, and another book is saying, go to the left. And one righteous person or a motivational speaker will say, do this, and another one will contradict him and say, do that. And we cannot find Hashem. We don't know which direction to go. But the answer is simple. What to do in times that we don't know how to choose in times of confusions, there is only one truth, and that is the answer. Adonai Elohim Emet. Our God is the God of truth. And if you want to find 
God, you want to find Hashem, you need to find the truth. And the truth is revealed to everyone. Maybe Hashem is hidden. I don't know what Hashem is saying. Hashem, here it's written that Hashem wants this. And there it's written that Hashem wants that. How can I know? If you'll be honest, if you will be truthful, attach yourself to the truth means that you will take responsibility. That you will do the best that you can to be truthful and honest and to do the right thing. To use the good attributes like that we are commanded to follow Hashem, that Hashem revealed His 13 attributes of kindness to Moshe. And Moshe taught us, as that the Creator is merciful, you should be merciful. As that the Creator is kind, you should be kind. As that the Creator is patience, you should be patience. Hidamelo bemidotav. You should make yourself as Him in His attributes. You should relate yourself to Him. You should attach yourself to Him by becoming like Him. And by doing that, you're nullifying yourself to Him. You're comparing your shape to Him. And how can we compare ourselves to someone that does not have no shape because he does not have a body and not the shape of a body because we are nullifying our souls to him, not our bodies. Our bodies that are physical will always stay physical, but our souls are free. And the Tselem Eloka, the shape of God that we gained by His blessing that He created us by blowing His own Spirit into our hollow, empty bodies. He gave out from His own Spirit into us those portions that are our souls, that are actually us. Therefore, when you overpower your body and you allow your soul to shine, the Creator is shining through you. And that's complete nullification, complete bitul to Hashem. And then Hashem is shining. And there is no me and no you and no they. It's all one unity, one greatness, infinity in expression. And it can express itself through endless amounts of details, particles, cells. But in the end, it's all one of a great flow, great unity. That in perfection is the great expression of His completion, of His greatness, of His godliness. And we are included all in Him. Our work is to shine the good light of our souls out to the world and not to hold back any good from no one that we can while protecting ourselves and defending our people, doing the good to all sides, using all the 13 attributes, walking straight and not to the sides, doing the right thing and never no wrong, being as kind, as nice, as generous as we can as faithful and loyal and honest as we can. And the blessing of the maker of the universe will never walk away from us forever and evermore. Amen.